Hey, everybody, welcome to the official Do Good Better podcast. I'm your host, Patrick Kirby. And of course, we talk with people and help people who have small and medium sized nonprofits do good better. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, we uh, have had a, uh, an incredible amount of snow here in flyover country, North Dakota. I'm tired of shoveling already, but I hope you had a lovely holiday season. And welcome back to listening. Um, hey, a couple of, uh, hey, New Year, New You, right? New Year, New Us. We're kind of uh, changing up the format here on the uh, on the podcast in 2023. Uh, we will continue to have uh, a guest expert every every single week. Um, we have some amazing national guests. Uh, and then our uh, our second podcast of the week is going to be us having a little therapy session and talking about a blog uh, that we write uh, every week and answering some of the questions that you might have. So we kind of take uh, questions from the internet uh, all over the place, every random email on things that we either talk about or uh, that are pressing this time of year. We're going to answer them in a little short podcast uh, as a little bonus uh, that you get to listen to, whether you're uh, driving in the car or uh, trying to struggle on that elliptical machine as you uh, have probably made your New Year's resolution to join that gym. Which, by the way, apparently everybody has in my gym because there's like a thousand people who show up every morning. I'm waiting them out. That's what I'm doing, uh, holding out. Uh, so that's kind of the thing. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email us at uh, Patrick at dogoodbetterconsulting.com. That's in the show notes. Uh, we'll also, again, continue to have our guest experts uh, come on every single week as part of our separate podcast. And then those bonus trainings that they have, because everybody who comes on uh, continues the conversation at Do Good University. So if you're interested, let us know. We'll put you on the waiting list when we open up the doors to that again. I'm very excited for the stuff that we've got going on there. Um, and it's going to be great. Typically, this Thursday will be uh, either myself or one of our uh, Do Good Better teammates uh, who are doing amazing things as well. And they'll give you a, a bunch of things. I, this week's conversation has been uh, about AI, uh, specifically this uh, bonkers of a program uh, that OpenAI has developed called ChatGPT. I have been uh, playing around with this for the last month and a half, and I am fascinated and terrified about all of it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it is a is an open source. <laughs> this thing learns. Uh, it's funny. And it's essentially Google on steroids. So if you Google something, you're like, I got a question about how to write an appeal. Or, uh, you know, that's the general question that somebody would ask. And you'd go to uh, Google and you'd go and try to filter out uh, a number of different places that you get um, information or resources on. And you have to go comb through that and say, well, that's kind of a good way to write it gone are those days you can actually type into this chat gpt and you can actually type in write me an appeal for an organization that uh serves individuals with developmental disability and delay and put it in the voice of some family who has benefited from the services it will create that for you in 10 seconds it's remarkable now is it perfect? No. This next generation of it will probably be perfected. Is it in your voice? No. It requires a little bit of editing. But what it does is it allows you to not create from whole cloth. And that is, I think, one of the best things that a small nonprofit can use. Because the amount of time you spend kind of curating or creating an idea takes so much more time away from you out in the field talking with donors over coffee or picking up the phone. So this is going to open up your calendar a lot more. It's going to reduce the amount of create uh, creation time. And then it's sort of like you can edit in your own organization's voice, push it out as much as possible. It can help you automate things. It can build you a marketing calendar. And uh, to the cynic, I think a lot of people will say, oh, this is going to not be great for jobs. It's not going to be great for marketing jobs or creative jobs. Yeah, it will. In fact, I think this is going to enhance the ability of people to churn out more work, more content, better content, because you can concentrate on how it sounds and feels as impact rather than sitting and going, all right, let's whiteboard 98 ideas, because you could just actually type in this, like, give me 98 ideas on how to do fundraising X, Y, and Z. It's incredible. But what I think uh, I, I want to talk a little bit about is how do you personalize, uh, what's your efficiency, and then how do you en enhance your donor experience? We blogged about it to, uh, this week. And, and one of the things is that you've got a high, uh, you've got a high volume of inquiries or you've got um, 
you know, sort of individuals who have some questions and email. You can actually just automate this whole thing, right? So um, you can free up your time by saying, you know, somebody has a question like, hey, how do I get this? Type it into chat GPT, email it out, edit it away, you can go. Um, the uh, personalized communication, I think, is really interesting because you don't have to come up with topics. Um, it, it has some human-like group. It, it's actually funny. So if you actually wanted to type out, um, you know, build me a script, that sounds like Frasier uh, in the voice of a nonprofit fundraiser uh, scenario. It will actually build you a, a Hollywood-like script. And it's kind of hilarious. Uh, I've done that way too often. Uh, I've had spent an inordinate amount of time sort of sitting there and, and typing some prompts in there. It's, it's fascinating. But um, your ability to personalize the conversation or the topic per inquiry or if you're meeting with a donor and they have a specific question about a program or service, or even more importantly, how do you, how do you, I want to say this dumb down what your complicated programs are so that somebody at a fifth grade level can understand it. I think that's one of the interesting pieces we get in our heads about like, how do we explain what we do? This takes everything in your brain, puts it into a system that really breaks it down so that everybody can understand what you do. It will teach you quantum physics to actually understand that. I, I'm not, honestly, it, it's it's a fascinating thing. So um, it, it simplifies, um, it uh, frees up your time. And then really what it gets to is how do you give a better donor experience? And that is your ability to pick up the phone and chat. And if you don't have time to do that, you're not you're not fundraising effectively. And so this will get a lot of things off of your plate. So I, I honestly think it's one of the coolest things uh, that you can do. I would recommend signing up. I would recommend playing around with it. Um, but what I've, I've, I've come to sort of conclude is that individuals who are in the nonprofit world that have really good human skills your jobs are not only safe, but they are actually needed more than ever to take all of this information and get it in front of individuals who are matched well with your affinity for your organization. And that takes, the robots can't win that, I guess, yet. I, I'm yet to see that. But I've, I haven't seen a robot with empathy. I haven't seen a response with um, a listening skills or leadership skills or or communicating to somebody who has a, a specific way that they want to learn or understand things, that doesn't happen without a person. So these wonderful soft skills, right? These human skills um, will be doubled down on. And if you are a nonprofit leader and you can, you're, you're trying to forecast, where am I going to go with my career? What am I going to do? How am I going to expand my knowledge? How am I going to expand my personalization? How am I going to expand the way that I can communicate with my donors? Double down on those human skills. Double down on your ability to listen and, and learn about uh, empathetic reasoning, or those things are going to be absolutely critical. And those that have those skills, oh my, the doors are going to fly open for you at levels of uh, nonprofit work that have been unknown to you before. I promise you that. Robots can only do so much, right? You don't need to learn about the history of the Roman Empire anymore. You have it now at your disposal. And you have it in a system that can explain it to you in a way that you can explain it to others. So education is going to change forever. But the way that you communicate that and the way that you open doors and um, look at somebody in their eyes or be able to hold a conversation, be genuinely curious, those aren't the skills that you're going to have from this AI, this open AI, this communication tool, this chat GPT. You're not going to get that from him. So this is an opportunity as a nonprofit leader to take all these, um, these crazy ideas that you had, enter it into here, and it's going to build you a program great. What do you do with that? And that's the future of nonprofit, nonprofit fundraising, nonprofit uh, leadership is how do you take all this awesome information and get into somebody that really cares? And that's where you come in. So I, I'm very excited about this. We're going to link the blog and uh, and a couple of the resources that they have, that we have uh, available in the, in the show notes. Um, but, you, you know, if you're, if you're stuck on, I don't know how to write an appeal, 
It's done for you. Edit away, send out. If you're stuck on, I don't really know how to build a, a, a social media post. Well, don't have to worry about that anymore. You take a photo, describe what the photo is, put it into this chat GPT. It'll, it'll churn out something that you get to edit and post and you're done. What it does not do is um, motivates you to pick up the phone and invite somebody out for coffee. And if 2023 is going to lead to bigger, better donations, bigger, bigger and better relationships, you're going to have to do that work because this AI revolution is going to open your calendar and what you fill it with is going to determine how successful that you are. So I'm very excited to continue this conversation. I'm very excited uh, to have all of these resources at your disposal, whether it's um, you know, how to write something or how to how to create something. That's that's awesome. But what you do with the time that you're going to have available, it's going to determine how your 2023 is. It's going to de-stress you. I guarantee it. Um, but it's going to open the door to a lot of amazing things if we listen well, if we uh, pay attention well. And then if we respond in a timely manner, and no robot's going to be able to do that, that is a human skill that you get to figure out yourself. So, uh, hey, check the show notes, uh, you know, sort of click on some of the links, play around in this chat GPT. You're going to want to know how it works. Um, not a lot of people are using it yet, even though you might hear about it a lot. Maybe if you're on TikTok and you click on one link and the algorithm says, oh, you're really interested in this stuff. Um, there's not a lot of, there's a million and a half users globally on this thing, but the... Um, the output and what it's going to accomplish and what is going to help um, with your organization, especially if you're a small one, is absolutely fantastic. So check the show notes, go click on a play around in it. And by the way, if you've got any questions on it, how to use it or whatever, submit them. Patrick, do good, better consulting.com. Send me an email and uh, I'd be happy to bring it up on the podcast. I'll mention you. I'll link to your organization. I'll give you a little kudos for coming up with some, some interesting questions and content we can talk about here. And I'm uh, so glad that you're going to be on this little journey with us in 2023, this little therapy session and talking a little bit about the themes we have of the week here at Do Good Better Consulting and uh, the official Do Good Better podcast. So thanks for sticking around if you uh, like the show. Uh, Hey, like, share, comment, uh, you know, sort of rate, give us a five-star rating. This is kind of the the bit we're uh, going to dive into and give out as much information as possible. We want that to happen to everybody, right? Rising Tide helps all ships. I'd love to see you around. Thanks for joining us here on the official Do Good Better podcast.